Well, I want to fight some Mars. And I'm going to take a we're going to take a look at Mr. M.M. M.B.B.B.'s video, whatever his name is, about this thing supposedly going behind planet Jupiter. And the biggest concern from people seems to be its feet. So we're going to take a look at that. Now, I have this on Fillmore, because Fillmore has really excellent frame by frame. I'm going to click it. One, two, three, four, then it moves. Two, three. Basically, it's moving every three frames, usually. Now, I checked the frame speed on the video, and it's 25. So, 25 frames per second, so dividing that by three, we get approximately eight frames per second, which is what the uh, photographer was doing. About eight frames per second. This is only rough guesstimate, all right? So we'll go ahead and show you. We're going to try to get that uh, near Jupiter so we can look at the transit time. Because this is really important to understand what's going on here. Okay, now we're going to count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and it just emerged. So we can see I've gotten counts as low as 15. This one was 20. In other words, I'm advancing the frame this uh, video by that many frames. There's 21, 22, 23. But I've already shown. Uh, the differences in her video, in the original video, she was apparently getting only 8 frames per second. So if we divide on the short side, if we divide it by 3, then we're getting 5 eighths of a second that this thing took to go behind Jupiter. If we go on the long side, about 21, then we get 7 eighths. So, there we have an idea, and this is not intended to be entirely 100% accurate, because you really can't tell. But people have been, you know, guessing at the speed. And this is a figure I came up with on the short end of the stick, if you count 15 frames. Because that uh, reduces, that's 15 over 25, that reduces to uh, 3 fifths. This is actually... Uh, off then. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take and okay what I did was I took the diameter of Jupiter and I divided which is about 88,000 miles and I divided that by three-fifths, which is three-fifths of a second. And I came up with this number, 146,666 miles per second. Not above the speed of light, but definitely fast. Okay, this is only an estimate. Like I said, I've gone up to... 
about 21 clicks, which translates into 7 eighths of a second, so we'll try that. So using the low end, we're getting 100,571 miles per second. Still much faster than your average Indy race car, of course, but far less than the speed of light. So assuming this thing really was going behind Jupiter, uh, it was going substantially less than the speed of light. And we can't really trust any of this. That's how far behind Jupiter. See, we really can't tell it from the flat perspective. But some people said it was going faster than the speed of light. Nonsense. So we'll take a look at this one more time before we close. Those little uh, glitches you might hear is where the speaker is speaking. See, I have to click the uh, back about three to four times for it to move once. So again, and the frame per second is 25. I'm going to show you that. Well, if I get cooperation, his properties. And it's 25 frames per second under video format. So I didn't say this thing was really booking, but it wasn't going over the speed of light. No way. This is assuming it, it was really headed behind Jupiter, which I can't tell. Uh, Mr. MBB333. That kind of, that kind of name will flummox me every time. Bottom line is, this object is very, very fast and probably very large, too. Again, because of the distortion of the uh, Earth's atmosphere, that would be hard to tell. And it should be noted that if you were able to see this with only the eye, it would be transiting a lot slower, a great deal slower. And the reason for that is, if you look through a pair of binoculars, anything, neighbor's dog playing, people walking along the sidewalk, they're going to look like they're going faster than if you look at them with your naked eye. And that's because a, uh, one of these devices like a telescope will shrink the area down that you're looking at, so anything going through it will appear to be going faster than it would if you were looking direct at, directly at it. Take a pair of binoculars and test out my little theory, you'll see I'm right. I would say that Mr. MBB333 was probably right. This thing is really fast, but it is going sub light. From our facts, Marge can take it or leave it. I don't really care. Very disturbing video, though. Thank you, Mr. MM MBB333.